There we go. I know how to do this. Hello, everyone. Evasive here. Welcome back to some more quarantine. We got all our beautiful friends here. We're starting late because uh, every time we add a new character to the campaign, it literally, the, the plugin I use literally interjects and it's ordered by a character name. And so when that happens, it shifts everything and then I have to go through OBS and move everything, which is great fun. Anyways, I'm excited to play. I don't want to spend too much time jabber John from me uh, right here because we want to jump in since we're, our time is a little bit shorter today because we're starting late. Um, but we're going to have uh, two new characters um, from existing players uh, join us today. Uh, Pancake and Kesh have two new characters that are going to be popping in. Um, going to have to weasel them in uh, shortly. But uh, do you guys want to kind of... All right, question for you players, actually. Do you guys want to introduce your characters now or would it feel more natural to introduce your characters when they meet the team? How does it? I'm, I'm kind of torn. Because, I mean, I guess you could like introduce, not introduce them, but maybe explain them kind of now, like what they are, what their name is, kind of thing. But then actually introduce yourself when you meet the team. Does that make sense? What do you guys think? I have a preference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Cash? Um, oh, sorry, name drop. Your, your mic is all jacked up, dude. I don't think you're using the Yeti as your thing. Yeah, I think your uh your mic is going through a webcam or something. It was working. Did something change? Yeah, it's no, all it fuzzy like though. Yeah, my audio is a thing all messed up. Just switch your input. We're fine over there. Hopefully, um, we can figure that out. Let's um, let's just let it go natural. I can. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I mean, I could say what my character's name is and sure. what they are. Fix it. Go for it. Uh, well, my character was Pancog, um, and now I am going to be playing Corva Calypso. She is a fire Jinsai who is also a rogue. And has a pretty interesting backstory when we get to that. Sweet. Uh, what about you, Miss Creation? You wanna tell your character? Uh my character is Demon, and uh, he is uh, a, t a tiefling. Uh, he is extremely ruthless, extremely... Uh, he's just a really strong warrior, uh, and he's only out to get what really... Um, he's out for his personal gain, really. Which could make for some interesting RP. We'll see how that goes. Uh, he's a wizard, correct? Yep, yep. Cool. Um, I guess who it's been at least this two weeks since we played. So, uh, who wants to do a recap on what happened last session for uh, a lovely inspiration point? Since most of you don't have one anymore, because I think half the ca characters died <laughs> in the last three weeks. <laughs> we have volunteers. Well, I mean, we we uh, we were still trying to defeat the the wizard. We finally did. Um, then we, me and uh, Miss Creation, uh, attempted to use the wand to turn Sheepbright back into a wizard. Glibber. Both got turned into glibbering monsters and had to be killed by our party members. Um, and then Lushu, our savior, decided to kill the sheep for all of his... <laughs> Fuck uh, that sheep. <laughs> all of the shit the sheep put on. Asshole. Out. Yeah, that, that sheep really... Asshole is. sheep. I didn't, I didn't realize, you know, if I knew that was the hill that um, Echo was going to die on, probably wouldn't have chosen it. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was hugely unfortunate. Um, although I do have to... Um, I, and then, and then go ahead. We, 
Go ahead. I, I said, well, Lucio decided to uh, make mutton out of the sheep, so. Yep. Deserved. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> um, cool, I will give you inspiration and point. Lyra was walking around town, at last I remember. Sweet. Or no, or she's on the ship. Uh, Lyra's on the ship. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, and that that kind of happened after everything happened. Uh, there was someone called out shark kind of thing at the end, and that's where we ended it. Um, let's see. Also, I do need to retcon something. Uh, last week, um, Lucio, you rolled a really high uh in perception or investigation check to find uh the ring on Echo's body. I did say you find it, or you found it, but it was like dull. It's not dull. There's like a, it's got like a glimmer to it now. Um, it still has some power in it. Uh, so I'll say you found it. Uh, um, so that is there. Sorry, I have notes I got to go through here. Um, but. Oh, and, and Carrion is now MIA. Oh, yeah. Uh, little kitty cat disappeared. Um, let's see. Um, okay. So I don't remember which side of the ball we left off on. I think we left off on uh, the 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 party's side where uh, they were like uh, Lushu and Eva just walked out of the tavern um, after taking a rest after everything that happened, and they were looking towards the bay. And that's yes, that, okay, it's all coming back to me now. That's where uh, they heard the shout of shark. Holy crap! Um, I kind of forgot how I was going to plan to do that. Um, oh, also, I'm going to do a slight retcon here as well. Um, we're going to say a uh, demon was on the ship as well. Um, you know, keeping to himself, um, below decks, whatever. Uh, just so, uh, we have a little bit of a easier introduction of bringing three people into the party all at once. Um, Pancake will be bringing your character in, uh, shortly as well but uh essentially we left off on uh shark getting shouted um now the timelines are kind of smashed together since one person yelled shark and you guys from both ends or wherever you're at in the party have heard it and um yeah so at this point in time we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna do we're gonna do a hot start here, I guess. I need to soundboard. Here we go. Hey. We're gonna You guys, listen. We we got we got ship sounds. <sighs> Alright. Um so Shark gets shouted, and um now we're ready for to roll initiative. <laughs> oh lovely. Yes, so uh straight in. Good. Let's go. Yeah, straight in. Um let's see. Uh, I need to open up. Cool yeah. That's fine. That, that's fine, my dude. Like, you know, I can just... Initiative. Let's, let's, let's last. There we go. Okay. Going last now. This is going to be... Uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Uh, how I'm going to have to essentially bop back and forth here, oh, but roll, it's going to work. Intelligence is fine. <laughs> go ahead and roll in, in it. It's, uh, it's on the main page. Oh, well, get, get your nat one out of the way. Holy crap. Sweet. Yep, something. Well, the world's a dangerous place, you've now learned. So, uh, you know, scary things can happen. All right. Um, we're going to, we, we need some battle music here because reasons. <laughs> we made our own fight music on the ship. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh god, he's making his own theme music. All right. You know what? That stinking These these are loud. Turn these down a bit. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, so it is Captain Alceris's turn. Um, he's on the ship. Um, by the way, if you guys haven't don't have it open, it's um, 
there's a map uh, to look at uh, for oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. for the people that are on the ship. Anyway, um, what good? Uh, Tia's map. Tia's run. Um, also, ah, yes, yes. let's switch over to the other scene here. Also, Moira, thank you so much for the reset, my dude. I appreciate you. You're so welcome. Also, uh oh, gosh, your face is being cut off. I might have to. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> okay. You're, you're super over there. Um, let's see. Okay. So we are in combat. We're ready to rock. Let's see. Um, so I said it's Captain Alceris' turn. Uh, he's. He's cut, he starts barking orders uh, to the, sh the crew. You know, what a sailor language. I don't sh sail, so hoist the mast, pull the berm, starboard port, something. Oh. There you go. I imagine that he said something actual <laughs> impressive with ship stuff. Uh, essentially commanding uh, the crew to get their shit together and uh, we're under attack! And, uh, he doesn't obviously doesn't really do anything right now because he's just kind of under uh wow can i just say that i uh i find something very funny real for a second so lord hasworth is the not the patron the the hi person hiring lyra to protect him he went second in initiative order as this merchant dude that has no combat prowess whatsoever <laughs> But uh, he, if you guys recall, has been thrown overboard after something crashed into the ship. So he is splashing and treading water. He doesn't know how to swim very well. Oh, um, but uh, he, he also is. Doesn't know a lot about sharks. Yeah, he, he is. He's doing a splashy <laughs> splash. Clip right, no, don't way. save it. <laughs> no, I have to. <laughs> yeah, the, Lyra, I'm getting paid. Says ship things. This Thank you, Birch. Job. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Lyra, right. you're up. Um, okay, so I'm looking at the map. Like, how... Where is he in relation to the shark? Or do um, you not know that? Oh, yeah, you guys can't see the shark, right? Um, let's see. No. Um, so he is splish-splashing, taking a bath. <laughs> something something cabbage patch kids it's everyone anyone gets that reference you are now aged along with me <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you all right oh i feel slightly less old no i still feel old it's just i feel old amongst my people um where is the ship oh here you go bam uh there's, okay. a, there's a shark look it's a shark it's a big boy He's a big boy. He's coming in for some chomps. And, uh, there you go. And then where's Lord? Uh, he's the guy in the Lord. water. Is that? No, wait, who no, is that? That's a player. Is that Echo? <laughs> yeah. Well, AKA Demon. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's Echo's old character. Echo's body is yep. just floating. How did he get there? Delete this token. <laughs> Um, I don't know, but I, I see demon on the boat, so... Yeah, yeah. demon's on the boat. Um, Hasworth got knocked over here. Blam. He's in the water. Okay. Splish splashing. So, um, I... Can I swim? Uh, I I swim. oh yeah, that's something else I, I wanted to bring up too. So, I had to look up the underwater combat stuff, which is a pain in the butt. I had that open last time we played. I have to open it again now, which sucks. But essentially, <laughs> since you're in, uh, you're in heavy armor, it's harder for you to swim. Um, there are rules for like holding your breath. It's based on your constitution. Um, and there's based on, there's rules on how long you can tread water and all the other stuff. Um, but yes, you, you can, you can swim. Okay. So, I, I probably can't do everything I want to in one turn. Um, but I'm going to run over to the side of the boat. Okay. Or is there... I'm gonna find something to tie rope to. That I can put rope down. Yeah, well, there's awesome. there's like those little okay. pegs okay. like every 15 feet or, or something across the okay. bow. So, I don't fucking know. My goal is to tie a knot, throw the rope over, and then jump into the water 
after okay. Lord Haysworth. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll just say that just takes your action, so you can move your character up to the edge of the boat, and um, it'll use your action Dive to... Down. Yeah. Belly flop. Yeah, w w so... It'll use your action, obviously, to, to tie it up, but you still have movement left, so you can do it and just dive off okay. the edge. Okay. Um, and that'll be my turn. Sweet. Um, the dragon board that you spoke to, Wafus, is uh, gonna run up the ship and try to observe. Actually, they're they're combat savvy, I think. Um, right? What were they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they know, they obviously felt where the, the ship got jolted, so it runs to the edge and starts trying to scan the horizon to see what the heck happened. Um, the, the assumption was that, you know, they, they ran into a reef or something, but um, we're, uh, we'll have them roll a perception. See if, uh, where's perception? Of course, I have to open it. Perception. Where are you? Oh wow, your stuff sucks. Okay, well I'm just gonna roll this. Oh, they almost rolled a one and it turned into a 19. Woo. Um, they, Wafus notices a, a very large shark in the water and uh, points to it and uh, actually takes out her heavy crossbow and uh, takes a shot. Oh god, dang it! The stupid the fish isn't on the on the battlefield. Apparently, there we go. All right, now try crossbow attack. Blam! Or not? Attempt to call field. Get actor. Are you kidding me? I can't attack the, the fish. For some reason. That's obnoxious. I don't like that at all. Maybe this character isn't a real character. Dude. I can't hit the shark. Something broken in fan er, in fantasy grounds here. That's uncool. What if I do this and just pull it back in? Come on, please work. Shark, show up. Let me hit you. If this doesn't work, then we have, uh... All right. I don't know if it'll work for you guys. If it does, then good. But if it doesn't, uh, we'll just have to roll into the chat and... Okay, it might just be, uh, something broken with the character because it happened and just rolling into the chat, too. So hopefully you guys can hit him. Uh, 16. Did he hit... Uh, he hit for one damage. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, oh, also, yeah. So combat uh, is different underwater, too. Uh, obviously, like if you try to swing a club underwater, uh, you're like, I think it's you get disadvantage. I'll, I'll, while you guys are going, I'll pull up the rest of the rules. But um, certain weapons don't work as well underwater, obviously. Um, Rook, the lookout, he's on top of the mast or whatever. Um, he's... Get, we're gonna roll perception for him to see if... Oh, natural 20? Okay. Uh, he obviously sees the shark, and he's, uh, also gonna use his longbow. Okay, he works. Something's broken with Wafus, apparently. He hits him. Um, and does... Boop. A little bit of damage. Um, it is, uh, oh, Kyrian, you're, you're not here anymore. Sorry, buddy. Lushu, okay. 
Um, um, so, no, so you're not on the map, but you um, are on, obviously you're on land. So the people on land, I'm gonna give you ability to actually help what's going on. Uh, you obviously cannot get to the boat. It's too far away. Um, it's about uh, 500 feet offshore. Um, but uh, you guys are like kind of in the middle of town. Um, I'm going to give you guys the ability to, you know, theater of the mind, run and uh, try to help people get to lifeboats or whatever you want to do. So uh, go ahead and tell me what you're kind of thinking. Um, which part of the town are we in right now? Because in the town, it's me and Eva, right? Correct. You guys are, you guys are pretty, um, still, still pretty close to the, uh, the gates. Um, cause you know, okay. people come into the gates, you want a tavern, uh, to try to pass out for travelers. So you're still pretty close. Um, you were probably, uh, let's say if, if you book it, you're like two turns away. Uh, you can like run and in two turns, you'll be able to get there and, uh, do what you got to do. Okay. Uh, before I start running in any sort of direction, um, can I have a look around and see if the... Because if we're near the gate, I'm assuming that would also mean we're near the walls. Um, mm -hmm. Therefore, also assuming there might be defenses at top of the wall, whether it be cannons, um, big, like, bolt action... Like, uh, those big bolt... I can't remember what they're called. Uh, um, ballista? Or ballista? That's, that's the one, that's the one. Like, can I have a look at it? Because I can um, use my ring of jumping and still uh, have no disadvantage to climbing walls. Um, um, I want to see if there's anything up there real quick. There there would be, but there's no walls near uh, the shoreline. Right, because it's, it's, it's just a big, long edge and that's where all the ships come in. There is nothing that you'd be able to, that is close enough from the gate. So imagine, Here's the oh, gate. Okay. You got mean. all yeah, the yeah, town, yeah. and then you got shoreline way off in the distance. Okay. Um, okay. In that case, um, uh, I'm gonna start running towards the shoreline. Okay. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that's all you guys can really do if you're yeah. deciding to help, obviously. <laughs> Oh, little man. Um, let's see. So you guys are running. Uh, Eva, uh, you're... Uh, wow, perfect. You're right after Lushu. Um, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, she kind of sees him take off and just, like, basically goes up. Yep, okay, we're doing this. And runs, starts running after him. Uh, okay. So that's pretty much all we can do at the moment. 154. <laughs> Okay, um, it is now Rin's turn. Another person on the ship. They are going to... What are they going to do? Um, well, they're, they're close enough to the edge. They, they can roll a perception. Uh, they do not notice the ship. Uh, so they're just kind of... What the heck? And they're just trying to get their footing because, you know, the ship's jostled around. Um, Quartermaster Siggy, uh, he's also barking, uh, relaying orders uh, from the captain um, and giving his own orders, uh, securing things around the ship. He's going to run over uh, to this area because he saw Hasworth go over the edge. Uh, he he sh shouts, man overboard, obviously. And uh, that is what he's doing there. Now, the big shark, um, you know, kind of, how fast he, he can move pretty fast. He's going to swoosh. He hears, uh, actually, he can swim under the boat. He hears splashing in the water. Rotate, there you go. But uh, he, he kind of loops around like this and comes back for another attack and poof, slams right into the, the ship again and boom, the ship takes some extra damage um sorry i gotta calculate stuff because i forgot to include the ship on the combat tracker uh um so the ship takes a massive hit again um anyone on the ship roll a well i guess that's 
uh, just demon. Uh, go ahead and roll a deck save. I will roll it for the other people. I know, come get him. Oh, people. He fall. All right, I gotta, I gotta pull some effects over here. Prone. There you are, prone. All right. So, Captain Asteris fails. Wait, Lord Hasworth is swimming. <laughs> he is, uh, he is, doesn't need to roll it. Oh my god, all the bad rules. Um, Wafus fails. Oh my god, and a four. I'm getting all my bad rolls out. Lucio isn't here. Eva's here. Um, oh, I forgot to move a thing. Whoop. There we go. Um, Rin, you will roll a dex. Um, oh, uh, go ahead and roll a dex save, uh, demon. Okay, he, he passes. Okay. Uh, Siggy. Yeah, he passes. Oh, you pass. Uh, so a big jostle of the ship hits, which I have a sound. Here you go. Boom! Massive crunch to the ship. Um, you manage to, to keep your balance while most of the other people on the ship uh, seems to have fallen down. Um, this works. <laughs> the, uh, the cook is under... <laughs> Under the board, or, uh, under the... What's the top of the ship called? The... Oh, God. Oh, my God. To the deck? Deck, thank you. He's under... He's under the deck. He's below deck. That's the word I can... <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I can words. English. Words. English is my <laughs> first language. Um, okay. Uh, the, uh, the cook... It's jostled around, falls on his butt. Uh, Demon, it's your turn. Okay, I am going to... Alright, I'm here, so I'm gonna move... 20... 25... So you're below deck right now, so you'll essentially have to double how much movement speed is to get back up. Can I get to... Uh, here? Oh yeah, that'll, it, be... That, that'll be most of your movement to get to there. And then I am going to... Boom. Um... Ooh, so much to choose from. <laughs> um... I'm going to... Firebolt at the sharky dude. Uh, roll a perception to see if you see him first. Because you just came from the low deck and you don't know what's happening. Oh yeah, true. true and you, true. you you would have to probably uh, oh, oh, no. definitely don't see him. Um, nope. You could use your rest of your movement. Uh, you still have more movement. Um, you I can move I'm like two more squares if you want. Um, I'm gonna move one, two to here. There you go. I'm gonna stop making my way up. Wait a minute. That was the the wrong character. It was. I, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so one. There you go. I'm heading for the stairs. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Um. And, uh, boom. Uh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> Alrighty, Corva. It is your turn. You are um not in the tavern. You are in another area of the uh the town. We'll say, um, I, I guess, what would you do with the response of when you hear shark and a bunch of commotions going on? Um, <clears throat> for the most part, I would probably go see, head towards where the noise is, just to assess the situation. Okay. Um, so I'm going to head towards where all the noise is and then just kind of get my bearings around there. Okay. 
Um, so you, you're, 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 you were uh, busy in the market uh, looking around, see what kind of wares people and stuff have when this happens. Um, so you, you can see uh, you can see the ship uh, in the distance and the, the chaos ensuing uh, pretty well. You know, uh, people are running towards lifeboats and stuff. Um, so I guess what, what would you do after seeing that? I guess are, in the lifeboats, are they going towards the boat? Uh, yeah, most people, or a lot of people, are running towards uh, the lifeboats and stuff to try to go help uh, the ship. I go ahead and I jump on one of them, and I'm going to let me see. And then I'm going to take out my short bow. Okay. For long range. Okay, um, so... And then that'll be my turn. We'll say, uh, at this... Your, uh... Start of your next turn, you'll be able to... Uh, get to the... The edge of the... The pier, I guess you'd call it. Sounds good. Um, let's see. Okay, round... Numero dos. Um, the, the ship is still trying to make way to port. Um, it's... It's traveled probably 80 feet, it's like a... 420 feet, uh, 420, uh, blaze it, uh, away from, uh, the pier, um, and people are, um, still scrambling about. Um, Captain Alceris is, uh, still barking orders. He's going to, I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to run, he's going to run to the edge of the ship to s see what the heck is, uh, going on because this is not a, uh, a standard occurrence of hitting just like rock and stuff. Um, he does not notice the ship or the the shark. That's the word. Uh, Lord Hastworth, um, he sees uh, Lyra has jumped overboard and uh, just really splish splash. And he's trying, he looks like he's trying to swim to you, but he's not doing a good job. He's more just seems like, like he's making himself sink a little bit more. Um, but uh, he, he's crying out to you. Uh, Lyra, it is your turn. Roll a, uh, since you are in heavy armor, uh, uh, what do you got to do? Roll a strength, or your athletics check. Ooh. Uh, you, you manage to stay afloat, uh, uh, regardless of your heavy armor, and you manage to, you know, grapple. I'm, you're, I'm assuming you're trying to grab Lord Hasbro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Despite his flailings, uh, you manage to, you know, hogtail him up and just hag him with your arm and, uh, yeah. we'll say, uh, roll a, uh, roll an, a strength check to see if, uh, you can pull yourself up on board in a timely manner, I guess. Oh, oh, that one to turn to 19, dude. <laughs> just pulling yourself up and just whoop, drop him. <laughs> like, Damn it! Stop wiggling. Um, yeah, you manage to whoop, 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 and you just pull yourself up. Um, at the start, of your, you're like pulling yourself over up to the the edge of the boat. Um, your next turn, you'll be able to be on top of the boat. Uh, but wow, good job, nice grab. Um, Waffus is gonna make a an attack. At uh, the shark, uh, it's at disadvantage. Wait, that's not how you do it. You do it like this, bop. Uh, and completely misses. Wow, I'm rolling like garbage. Um, actually, yeah, he has to, most of these people have to stand up. <laughs> oh God, because most of them got knocked over. All right, your effects use. Uh, Waffa stands up, uh, Rook stands up um he's gonna have to roll a perception since he was above he has no idea where the ship or this yeah he does not where the he doesn't know where the the shark went oops um lushu uh you're gonna keep running yeah yeah i'm gonna keep running towards uh, the shoreline cool sorry you guys far away it feels like you don't really have a decision <laughs> Okay, but we're almost there, though, so it's fine. Yep. Eva, you're uh, yeah, also going to keep running? Yeah, might as well just keep going. Keep going. 
Um. Okay. Um. Boom. Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot to say. Uh, uh Captain Alceris has some of the orders he was barking was uh, he was yelling at the crew to uh, sandbag uh, the holes in the ships because he noticed they're taking on water. Um. Plug that hole! Get the sandbags! Blah, 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 stuff! Ship things! Um, and th so that's what he's kind of been shouting to the, the crew. Um, Rin is... Didn't fall over, which is great. Um, but is going to... I don't know what Rin's gonna do. Rin has weird stuff. Um, Rin is gonna uh, bless... Can you bless the ship? <laughs> bless the ship. <laughs> um, I'm going to roll perception. See if he can see the shark. He cannot see the shark. My, my, guys, I don't think I've rolled higher than a five in most of these rolls here. Um, Rin sees nothing. Uh, Siggy, uh, he's actually going to run down or jump off this area and run over to try to help pull you on board. Um... So he's gonna help out with that. Wait, he's not prone. Why? Why is this say prone? Don't be prone. Um, the ship, or the ship. I keep saying that. The shark, you know, circles around again for another smash attack. Pfft, runs into the thing. Boom! Big ol' hit again. Smash. Um, everyone, roll. Uh, go ahead and roll a dex. Um, oh. Yeah, roll a dex. Yeah, because you're holding on. So Lyra and Demon roll a dex save. Captain Alceris, he can't stay on his feet. Wow, Lyra, damn. Um, effects. Ready for battle. Right. <laughs> um. Oh, damn, dude. Nice roll. Um, Wafus, what do you got? Okay, they stand up this time. Rook, what do you got? Uh, he falls. Um, Rin. Stays up. Siggy. falls and just this this siege engine of a shark just messing everything up boom smashes the crap out of that um oh the the cook <laughs> he's he didn't even get his turn before having to roll again um but he's gonna have to roll another deck save <laughs> as he was getting up he, the the shark rams into the ship again and he just falls back over Poor guy. He's, he's trying to, like, keep his pots and pans from splashing it stuff all over the place, so he just stays on the ground. Uh, oops. Demon, it is your turn. Okay, where am I? I am long. Okay, so I'm gonna move to... I'm not sure what the right person is, on. Because he wants to see what the hell is going on, so he's going to go here. Go ahead and roll a perception. If he can't see from here, he needs to go spectators. Oh, you'll be able to see. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, you notice there is a very large shark um, smashing himself against the, uh, the edges of the ship. Sides. Okay, so in which case I will. Ooh. Yeah, I'll firebolt him. Okay, uh, it will be at disadvantage because you are casting at range, trying to get through <gasps> water. Uh, firebolt, blah, 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 blah. Um, 
Okay. Uh, so you need to drag the ranged plus six onto the shark. But you'll have to click the, the disadvantage over by your dice. Uh, click the disadvantage thing first. Um, drag it onto the shark's head. Oh, got it. So, attack. Here we go. Ooh. 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 You hit him. Holy crap. Um, and now go ahead and roll, uh, the, the damage onto his head. Did a little bit of damage. Sizzles off him a little bit. There you go. Fire spell. Nice. Alright, Corva, you are now at the edge of uh, the docks. Uh, and uh, you see the commotion off, going off in the distance. What is... Uh, your plans here. Are you muted? You're muted. Like I said, I thought I jumped on one of the lifeboats. Oh uh, no, this, um, your turn was to get to the edge of the pier. You can jump on the lifeboat now, if you want. Oh, okay. Well then, I will jump on the lifeboat now. Okay. And, uh, I guess and like you'll- Like I said, I will ready more short bow so that I can potentially hit. Whatever. How far out is the ship? Uh, 420 feet right now. Probably couldn't hit that with a short bow. Uh, you would be at major disadvantage because one, you probably can't see the shark and two, you'd be shooting through water at that distance. Yeah, so. But you can help paddle so the boat. In that case, <laughs> I will. I will help paddle the boat. There you go. To get there faster. There you go. Okay. Um. At the the top of the initiative order, um, Captain Alceris, uh, seeing the damage that has been done to the, the ship and uh, how much of a beating it's taking, knows that they're taking on too much water. Uh, the ship has traveled a little bit long or farther. It's about 340 feet out now. Um, but, uh, he tells, uh, Siggy to let the crew know to, uh, abandon ship. Um, so Siggy cries out, abandon ship, everyone to the lifeboats. And that is what's ha happening right now. Um, he, Alceris, uh, he goes back. What, what's the steering wheel of a ship called? I forget. Whatever. He runs up to it to try to compensate for the ships taking on so much water. Um, he's still trying to steer uh, into Bastion Bay uh, as best as he can. But uh, the call for abandoned ship is now in place. Um, after he stands up because he was prone. Um, Lord Hasworth is uh, comfortably sitting in Lyra's arms, so he's just kind of hanging out. Uh, Lyra, it's your turn. Oh here um, <laughs> I mean 300 feet is still so far um all right I'm gonna I don't care that he said an abandoned ship we're gonna hop on this boat on uh, the Tia's run yeah okay because 300 feet is a long way to look for a lifeboat um and this guy can't swim <laughs> So. There's a. There, we're gonna say there's four lifeboats. There's two. Uh, oh, okay. We're, there's lifeboats, uh, pretty much adjacent to the the stairs on each side of the ship. We'll, we'll say that. Okay. Um, they can okay. hold six. We'll say they can hold four people a pop. Okay. I'm going to make my way towards a lifeboat then, with Lord, the Lord. Okay. So you pull yourself up. Walk ten feet and jump into a lifeboat. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say this is where a lifeboat is. 
Um, I guess, uh, is... I'm just gonna, like, carry him while I'm doing this. There you go. You're just like, no, you're coming with me. Yeah. I, I don't trust you. <laughs> okay. Um, so you shift over there, and, uh, you managed to get on a lifeboat. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Actually, um, do I still have an action, or would that be... Y yeah, you, you can have an action. Um... I'm going to... Oh, it only lasts a minute. Never mind, I'm gonna wait then. I will wait. Okay. Um, Oafus, after hearing abandoned ship, where is... Okay. It's also gonna... Boop, 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 jumps onto a ship. Or a, a lifeboat. Uh, yeah, he's also going to... Or she. Um... I'm gonna say that he, since he didn't fall over, she didn't fall over, uh, she's been keeping an eye on the shark, and she's gonna keep trying to shoot at the shark, which doesn't work with this character for some reason. Uh, does hit. Oh, wait. That disadvantage. Roll it again. Uh, still hits. And does a wee bit of damage. Just shooting stuff into the, the ship here. Or the, the sh shark. Too many sh words. Uh, Rook is prone. He's gonna stand up, but he heard the call for abandoned ship. Uh, he's on top of a high mass, so he's gonna just <laughs> and slide down. Um, as fast as he can, but since he had to stand up, use half his movement, he only gets to about here. Um, next. There we go. Uh, Lushu, you uh, get to the, the edge of the, the pier. Um, you see people uh, in lifeboats going out uh, to help the ship in need. How do you proceed? Uh, yeah, there, there's, you know, tiny boats. There's some bigger boats that people are trying to go in there. There's some merchant vessels that are trying to go help. Okay, well, I'm going to do the classic rogue thing and commandeer one of those boats. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> everyone running away at this point, so there's not going to be much protection with these boats. So, you know, you know what they say, seize the opportunity. Okay. Uh, so, yes, I what kind of boat? To... Like a little rowboat? <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of boat are you going for? Um, I'm gonna go for one of the, uh, the, 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 the traders boats because I'm pretty sure one, it'd be better to have two bigger ships out there and two, pretty sure there's some pretty nice loot. Okay, um, <laughs> so uh, since, <laughs> since, since you don't have a sailing background, if you're gonna try to take a ship all on your lonesome that needs a full crew complement, I don't think you're gonna well, get very I'm, far. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna call over to Eva to assist me. She, Eva also doesn't have a sh sailing background. <laughs> <laughs> the crew compliment is probably at least four people. So I don't know if you want to recruit other people to try to help. Uh, are there <laughs> or, any people around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of people. They're all, like uh, half so the town is running. I'm just gonna hold my arms up like this and link arms of a couple people running and kind of just okay. force them. Uh, go ahead and roll a, de a deception. Or deception or a performance. You you're trying to act like you, one, you act like you know what you're doing, and two, act like that you own this ship. <laughs> All right, then. Um, here we go again. Oh, I want to see this. Let's go. Okay. Hey. Okay. All right. Um, the, the, uh, we'll say you grab a. You manage to get a hold of like three people next to you. They all kind of. They're like. They're all shook up. They're like, ah, he. He looks piratish. Sure, trust him. Let's go. There you go. I like it. Okay. Uh, so you manage to rope in three other people and uh, you get aboard uh, this this trader ship. Um, oh, um, I'm, I'm not gonna go without Eva. I, I kind of figured. I, I mean, Eva's gonna... next turn is, or is the very yeah, next turn. So I'm, I'm gonna start preparing. Eva just gonna turn into a bear. 
or a shark. I mean, bears can swim, but I don't think that's the way to handle this. Well, hold on. Yeah, no, Actually, no. you're, you can you're, turn into any creature you can see. I was just going to say, you're level five. What is your combat shape? Can you shift into things with swimming yet? Let's see. I have no clue. Uh, Circle the moon. Blah, 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 blah. Wild shape. Here you go. Your level. Yo! You can act. You can absolutely oh. transform into something that has a swimming speed right now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, it has dolphin! to be. Dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think dolphin versus shark is a great idea. It has to be a. It has to be character rating half or less. Or do you want to do you want to go full World of Warcraft Druid style on this? Oh Jesus! You know that does sound fun. Um, I guess it's up to what exactly I can turn into because I know there's like a like a challenge rating. I'm looking, rule or yeah. Something. So you can be challenge rating half, and I'm I'm looking to see. If, um, so I'm looking at sharks. Um, there's no. You can do a reef shark. Um, dolphin. There, there's lists online. You know what? That, Let's do that after the stream. We need to get you like an actual. There, there's spreadsheets and stuff. Since you actually yeah, unlocked a bunch that more he now. Was gonna get on the boat next turn. Yep. Dude, a dolphin is challenge rating eight. Oh jeez. Um, <laughs> crocodile. See, I wasn't sick. far off. A crocodile is half. <laughs> <laughs> crocodile, That's awesome. That scares the shit out of me. Alright, so yeah, so Lushu's gonna start preparing to um start heading towards so yeah, I'll end my turn. But okay. I haven't I haven't left yet. I'm still there. I haven't left yet. Okay. Oh, oh man, that's a great <sighs> By the way, I redeemed the treats, my dude. Oh I saw that. Jada want them cooking! Be best, best be getting them cooking. Come get those yes. cookies. Come get it. Oh, there you are. I want them puppers. There you go. Cookies, my dude. Um, so oh, yeah. actually, yeah. So what are you doing, uh, Eva? Oh boy. Uh, mm, shit. I mean, you know, the, I'm. I know that Google doesn't really help, but I don't. This is a big shark, correct? Yeah. So this later, is a I huge this shark. Is this is a huge. Um, I think a reef shark is. It is like the, a megalodon? It, yeah. It's it's pretty massive. <laughs> a meg. Um, I mean, look how many squares it takes up. You guys take up one, it takes up nine. It's a I huge know. level shark. It, it's you like the size of a house. Ghosts, I think you. For right now, I might get on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably might be a good idea. Okay, so you get on the boat with uh, Lushu. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go for it. Um, take uh. All right. Okay. Um, so that's your turn then. Yeah. You guys are manning the boat. Um. That. Uh, Rin. Uh, also gonna jump on the lifeboat. Boop. Um. You don't have anything worthwhile. It's fine. Um. Can you perception? Well, you see the shark for once. Nope. Natural one person can't see shit. <laughs> um, Quartermaster Siggy. Uh, he's, you know, waving people down, trying to get people to jump in the boats. Um, he also, he joins uh, Lyra and Mr. Hastworth in the boat. Actually, no, he doesn't. He He's gonna... He, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, I liked that plan. He's gonna... Who is this? Oh, he, he's, yeah, he runs over here, um, you know, he, he's second mate. He's going to make sure uh, people get off the boat. Um, so he's going down, he's shouting towards uh, the cook, uh, making sure everyone's going to get off. Um, another one. Boom! Shark comes slamming in. Um, everyone on board. Actually, uh, since the, the lifeboats are still technically attached to the ship, uh, anyone that's on the ship or attached to the ship in some way needs to roll a deck save. Do I need to roll a deck save now? Um, no, because you're you're on a different boat. 
Um, deck safe. He finally passes. I can't believe it. Uh, Lord Hasworth actually has to roll one now. Lyra, uh, you actually uh... managed to fall prone. Um, we'll say because Hasworth is kind of struggling, you both fall, uh, fall prone here <laughs> in your little lifeboat. Oop. Uh, Corva, you didn't need to roll a deck save. Uh, Demon does, though. Okay. And this is tedious to have to click all these things. I made too many stinking NPCs. Okay. Um, <laughs> Wafus is prone. Look out. He manages this to be fine. Uh, Demon, you barely managed to stay on your feet. Um, Lucia and Eva are fine. Rin needs to whoop. and rolls a natural one. Dude, I'm rolling so many ones. Um, <laughs> that one character, that, po that poor I know, NPC. dude. All right. Siggy also falls prone. He shouldn't have been able to run that far. Technically, because he was prone, or I forgot to remove it. It's fine. Um, oops. Why does prone keep getting applied to this? The shark can't be prone, bro. Um, Giles the cook is going to spend half his movements to stand up from being prone last time. Let's see if he's going to get jostled again. Please stand up. Nope. He fall. This poor cook. He can't do. S Every time he's getting up, he just falls back over. The ship is messing him up. Uh, demon, you six or you saved, uh, but it is your turn. Uh, you're muted. Cookie time. Get them cookies. Come get this cookie. Come get this cookie. Uh, you're still muted. Better. There you go. Dead oh, good. little boy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's so fine. <laughs> Babies happen. He wanted to be part of the fun. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, he's cheering you on. That's what he's doing. Yep. <laughs> right. Let's see. Um, how did you say the ship is sinking because of mm -hmm. a hole in the side? Um. Well, it's it's hasn't officially started sinking yet, um, but it's taking on enough water that it probably doesn't have much longer before it actually starts to sink. How big is the break or tear? Is it larger than? It's quite large. Um, the uh, the, sh the ship has done or the the shark has done some significant damage to the hull. There's a word. If it's no larger than a foot, I can fix it. Oh no, it's it's quite large. Uh, okay. it's, it's about the size of a house, or not a house, but uh, it's probably like 15 or 20 feet of just crap. Okay. And there's multiple holes, you know, just the shark's been battering, ramming himself into the ship. Is there any uh, lifeboats left? Yeah, there, there's one, or there's a lifeboat uh, near each of the stairs. Why can't I? All right, I'm gonna... There you go. I'm gonna, I'm assuming that's a boat. Oh my God. Yeah. Move over there. No. Move there somewhere. Go. God damn it. Uh, oh, are you, are you just trying to get on the lifeboat? Yeah. Okay. So you would be about yoink. So it's like they're like little square lifeboats. So. Boom. Okay. Do I have enough left to uh, possibly throw a dagger at the shark? You want to throw it? Because you might not be able to get it back. Yeah, I'm sure there's a blacksmith or somewhere that I can... Because i got two daggers, so... Uh, do you? I thought you only had one. Yep. I have two in my... You have energy. one. You have one in your inventory. Oh. The reason why you see okay. two is because it's like if you choose to attack, like a stab, or if you choose to throw. Okay. Uh, I'm going to risk it. Damn it, I'm going to risk okay. it. Um, so do the one with the the bomb next to it. That's your throw. Okay. Um, it'll be at disadvantage. Okay. 
Disadvantage. Don't let me down. Come, come up. Don't let me down. Oh. Nope. Mm, Did a no. hefty shark with his super shark skin just kind of dinks, bounces off his armor, and now you are daggerless. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, no dead, no yeah, dead air. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll you'll have to probably pick up another dagger soon. <laughs> uh, Corva, <Yeah. laughs> it's your turn. Um, we'll say uh, okay, so. you're you're approaching. Uh, you're you're about halfway uh, to to the ship. Um, amongst other ships that are approaching as well. Um, that's still like two hundred yards. Uh. 200 feet, but go ahead and roll a perception to see uh, if you can see the, the shark. Uh, give me a sec. Perception and perception. Oh, nice. Yeah, you, you see uh, there is a massive shark attacking the crap out of the ship. I yell, everyone, it looks like there is a, a giant shark. Be prepared for battle. And to all the other people around me in the lifeboats. Okay. Uh, that, that's about my turn. Okay. Um, like, I, can't, I can't hit with the, the short bow still. I think you can. Let's see. I mean, you would be at disadvantage. Uh, your can't range. I'm not a ranger, so. Oh yeah, you can hit him. It's within range. And. Or you can attempt to hit him. So not at. Was that? Well, I could attempt. You said disadvantage, right? Yeah. Uh, wow, you hit him. Yeah. Dink! <laughs> and just like four damage. There you go. You did damage. Good job. Um, then. I, I at least helped. You did it. Yay. All okay. right. <laughs> Top of the initiative order. Um, at this point, um, uh, the ship begins to sink. Uh, it's about 180 feet, uh, away from, uh, the, uh, the shoreline. Um, it is definitely sinking. Uh, I'm gonna roll a thing. Boop. Let me roll. Okay. Um, yeah, the ship begins to sink. Um, and uh, El Capitan um, is going to rush 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, Actually, he's gonna run up here, and he's gonna. <laughs> he doesn't have a range attack, so he's also gonna throw his dagger <laughs> at the ship or at the shark. Uh, yay! Um. Yep, that was a disadvantage, and uh, he still hits. Uh, does a little bit of damage. Um, he's barking orders like, I said get to the lifeboats! No time to waste! We're going down! Uh, Lord Hasworth is mumbling and grumbling in panic uh, aboard the lifeboat. And, he, you know, he, he's shouting at you, Lyra, to, to, you know, cut the ropes! Let's get out of here! We must leave! What are you waiting for? And uh, that's him. Uh, Lyra, it's your turn. Dude, I'm on the ground. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna stand up. Yeah, we'll say Lord Hastworth did that too. Okay, so you stand up. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am. Go well. Okay, you said there's are there f two lifeboats or four? Uh, there's there's one lifeboat next to each of the the stairs, so there's four in total. Four lifeboats in total. Yep. 
Okay. Because I don't think I would leave if there wasn't room for someone. Um, okay. I am going to cut the ropes. Okay. Uh, you use your your action to, to cut the ropes and your life float falls 20, 30 feet from the edge of the ship. Shh, go ahead and roll a uh, dex. Uh, dex C or dex check. Uh, Passworth will also oh 19 I, to a nine. Rolls a ten. Oh, beautiful natural twenty. Um, Lord Hasworth. Uh, so graceful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're just rolling crazy good. Um, Lord Hasworth, on the other hand, uh, he gets a little bit jostled and looks like he goes overboard. Uh, go ahead and roll a. Uh, yeah, go roll, roll another dex check to see if you can be like, no! Okay. See if I can save him? Yeah, see if we can keep him from going overboard. Now this is going to be a one watch. Oh, good. Yeah, oh. yeah he kind of lurches forward and you're just, you grab you grab onto the edge of the lifeboat, grab him. <laughs> fucking guys, not even worth it. <laughs> uh, but you managed to keep him on. You, you just sit on him. <laughs> you, you keep him from uh, going overboard once again. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that your turn? Actually, uh, roll a perception. Okay. Uh, nothing significant. Um... But yeah, you, you guys are now treading water on your own little lifeboat. You good? Cool. Um, Wafus uh, is going to use his half his movement to stand up. Um, he's also going to take a shot at Shark, which he can't do because this character's broken. Disadvantage. You got a critical hit, bro. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, amazing. Uh, he does damage. So there we go. Wow. Uh, he just did eleven damage. You shark. Freak! Just heavy crossbow. Finally, uh, makes its mark. Uh, Rook, um, finally is able to stand up and, which way is he going to go? He's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And, uh, he nimbly bimbly feats, jumps over and, uh, jumps into one of the lifeboats. Uh, Lushu, Mr. Acting oh, okay. like a pirate. On, on the boat, aren't I? Yep. on the boat as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys started, uh, uh, roll a percentage die to see if you actually get, um, so with, uh, on the D10s, uh, if you right click, uh, you can click the percentage. Yep. Um, and we're going to roll that and that's going to be the percent that you got, uh, a competent, like crew compliment for each of the, so you'll roll three times. Um, Amazing. you're in a peer town we'll say you have a 60 percent chance you rolled a two <laughs> um so you need to roll a 60 or below and you get like a, a comp a competent person so you got one you got two you you have two uh members that you know know what they're doing on a ship the third person doesn't um he, he he's just a, a merchant uh, of bastion bay uh, so we'll say you, you can actually successfully, mostly, uh, manage uh, crewing, steering, driving, shipping the ship. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the word. <laughs> shipping the ship. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, you're gonna you're making your way towards a ship. Diaz, run. I'm making my way downtown, dude. Yep. Talking fast, licking ass. Yep. Hell oh my. Yeah, dude. No other way. No other way. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I guess that's my turn then because I can't really do anything else, can I? Yep. 
Okay. Eva, uh, you doing anything? Uh, I mean, she certainly does not know how to sail, and she's got land legs as far as <laughs> as usual. So, <laughs> uh, um, did you guys want to? Uh, you guys can both roll perception if you wanted to s see if you saw the shark. If you want. Yeah, might as well do that for sure. Let me. Where is my perception? There it is. It's in alphabetical order. I'm smart. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see shit. Yeah, you don't see nothing. You're more like. <laughs> Stain on boat. <laughs> what do your elf eyes see? see? Yeah. Um, so you see the shark. Uh, if you want, uh, I'll say you, you can get a, an attack with your bow. It's up to you. You have a bow, right? Wait, me? Yeah. You have a bow, right? Yeah, I have a bow, yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I'll give it a go then. Why yeah. not? Is it's that disadvantage? Easy. Disadvantage? Okay, then. Like I drag the disadvantage and the, I. I said, ah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, right, and short bow onto the thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bing, bounce, and uh, the arrow just kind of bounces off the, the shark's Hi. rough hide. <laughs> Oof. All right, then. <laughs> um, okay. Thing's about to get interesting, me thinks. Let's see. Um... Mm. Okay. I'm going to roll a percentage dice. That's not how you do it. Right click percent. All right. Actually, it's so much easier to not do that. Um, Lyra, you are evens. Hasworth is odds. Uh, Lyra, roll a a dex a dex save. Actually, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. I don't think that actually happens, but uh, yeah, regardless. Um, you, did you, you, did you, you, did you, uh, things, 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 there you go. The, uh, suddenly after, n not long after your, you know, lifeboat smashes into the, the waves down below, uh, suddenly a, a harpoon comes l lurching out of the, the water. Uh, from beneath the water at you. And natural 20. And, uh, jeez. Okay, now I'm gonna start rolling crazy. And, uh, you... Oh my god! Alright, and you just take a crap ton of damage. Um, but... To your surprise, a, uh... A harpoon comes lurching out of the water and... Stabs you. Uh, pretty good. Um, and you are able to notice there is a, uh... Amphibious... Uh, humanoid creature uh, un underneath the waves that has been seemingly working with the uh, the shark in the attacks. Uh... Uh oh, did I misread that? Oh, um, roll a a strength che uh, strength check. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so th the harpoon is, you know, it's attached to a uh, rope um, and he's, he's attempting to pull you overboard. You get, you get pulled overboard um, and are now treading water. And uh, Lord Hasworth is freaking out. Uh, Rin's turn. I closed the stinking map. Images map. There we go. Move out the way. Um, who did I say? It's Rin's turn. Rin is in the boat. Um, is going to attempt 
to attack the shark. Um, he, wow, he misses, or he fails his save, so he actually gets some damage and does very little damage, but it's something. Um, I want to, some of these are really big and I don't want to see them all at once. Uh, Siggy, um, having successfully, or he has to use some of his movement to stand back up. Um, he sees the, the cook down below struggling. Uh, he runs down and, uh, uses his action to, uh, help the, the cook stand up and, uh, <laughs> try to move up above deck to get him out of here. Uh, so the cook is not going to be, uh, prone. Um, one more big smash coming in. Boom! The ship is, uh, definitely splintering and starting to fall apart now as the shark besieges it another time and smacks the crap out of it. Uh, the cook is already standing up. He's gonna, he says, fuck my cooking stuff, I'm out of here, and he runs up the thing and, uh, jumps into a lifeboat. Demon, you're up. Oh, everyone has to roll a, a dex, right? Please, cook, make it this time, because I don't want to keep having to wait for you. Oops, not disadvantage. Well, they, they made it anyway, okay. Uh, demon, you save. Uh, deck save. Oh, natural 20. Um... Oh, actually, yeah, Lyra doesn't have to roll at all. You're you're treading water. Um, Lucia and Evo don't roll. Rin. Uh, falls over, but they're in a lifeboat, so it's probably not such a bad idea or a bad thing. Run. Oops, that's the wrong one. Rin. Run. Uh, Siggy. Uh, that was gonna be a natural 20. Turned into an 8. He's also fallen over. This guy's just trying to do his best to help everyone. And the cook just keeps falling over. Please don't fall this time. Oh my god, this freaking cook. Falls on his ass. But he, he's still able to make it because he had enough movement, but jeez, dude. Oh, no, he's he made it to the, the thing when it crashed, so now he's just falling all over the place. Uh, demon, you saved, so it's your go. Okay, um, I have a torch, so that technically that will have oil in it, right? A torch? Yeah, I would yeah. say so. Okay. I'm going to get out my torch. Um, I want to control flames. So basically, I want to throw the oil in this direction of the shot and okay. then control flames towards the shot. Uh, okay. Yeah, because your, your hands were free, so you can bang it. And so you, you got to light the torch and then you're going to chuck it at him. Is that what you're going to yep. do? Um,. Yeah. So, so you don't actually have to throw it, right? You can, you can literally, you just control the flame. You can light it and then just have it, the flame go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll just do that. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll say, uh, should it take a turn to light up a torch? Cause, cause you don't have lighters back then. You have to use flint and steel, right? Oh, yeah, so, you're going to be sat in the middle of the sea trying to... Like, <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So you can't use um, your, your control flames on it this turn, uh, but you're able... You you can get a, a torch lit up. Time. Yeah. Okay. That's about what I can do, so... Pudding. Torva, you're up. Um, you are approaching uh, okay. Tia's run. You're probably, you know, 40 feet away. So can I see the marrow that's attacking, or no? No, you, you're coming from um, the other side. 
Okay, so I can still see the shark. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to... So, am I still at disadvantage? Yep. Any ranged attacks are disadvantage. Okay, I'm going to attempt to hit the shark again. Are you hit? Oh, thank god. Get some damage. Six damage. Damage. Um. See, and I don't have a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I could try to throw fire at the at the thing. At uh, the you did. Action, right? You already did your attack. Oh, I okay. I see. Hold on a minute. You're trying to do your racial produce flame. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is an action to use. Hmm. Okay. Well then, I hit the shark, so that's my turn. Okay. Oh, I should probably have been dropping things. Uh, Osiris. He shouts over it to Siggy. He's like, what are you waiting for? You know, they're, they're just screaming at each other because he doesn't know why it's taking so long to get aboard the lifeboats, but he's, he's he jumps on a lifeboat over here and attempts to... Nope, he doesn't have a ranged attack anymore because he threw his dagger. <laughs> uh, Passworth um, is still aboard the, uh, the life raft, but he's uh, in a bit of a panic now because uh, Lyra has gone overboard. Uh, Lyra, go ahead and roll a strength. A strength check to see if you stay afloat. Oh, you do not. Um, you, your heavy armor and you being getting thrown off by getting pulled in by a harpoon, you actually begin to sink a little bit, um, but you get a full glimpse uh, at this aquatic gross humanoid creature very long lanky legs like fish like face big old harpoon and uh well, you're, you're we'll say you're next to him what kind of um you you could use your action right now so uh, you could get an attack off if you wanted uh, uh, might as well before i die um okay let's <laughs> or heal let's uh yeah can I lay of hands on myself? Or Absolutely. No? Okay. All right, I'm going to lay on hands on myself then. Okay. You give yourself a n nice, good touch. Where is it? Um, I don't need the f full amount. Yeah, you can use any number, right? Yeah, um, but I don't know how to make it less. Um, me neither, actually. Um, I guess you can just, well, just keep it, just keep track of how much you have left, and then just tell me how much okay. you'll heal. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. You are fully healthy again. So you, a uh, glow, a radiant light kind of emanates from you. Do I have any? Yeah, here, healing spell. There you go. You heal yourself uh, back to full life, and uh, you're, you're staring down this marrow that's looking right at you, this Cthulhu beast. All right. Um, and he has me like harpooned, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so I can't like move away or anything. I will enter. Um, you you will say that like you can attempt to get back up onto the rope boat or whatever you want. I, actually, no, you're sinking. You have you have to like yeah. swim back up, which you yeah. still have movement, so you could potentially swim. Um.
Yeah, I I think I'm gonna swim if I can. Yeah. And I'm on that side of him. Yeah, you the can swim. Side. Yeah. Yeah, you're on and the I'm left. on the left side. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was gonna try to move over closer to the right side so that way, like, to draw some attention from the other people, but uh, that wouldn't be good. So I guess I will just stay. Um, you wanted to get to the right side of the marrow? Yeah. Um, you could shift around him. Um, so swimming is, since you don't have a swim speed, is counted as difficult terrain. So, you know, one square is 10 feet instead of five. So you could right, feasibly. But wouldn't he, wouldn't he get an attack of opportunity if I moved? No, that you only get an attack of opportunity if you leave his threat range. So you could actually like mosey oh, around okay. him. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to move to the other side of him. Yeah, you can do that. Like to the side. Okay. Yep. Swish. There. And that's like your whole movement. 10, 20. Yep. 30. <laughs> yep. Cool. Uh, that's your turn. Yep. Cool. Uh, Wafus has had enough of this baloney and, uh, uh, releases the rope and they go, um, or he, they, you know, they don't cut it up. They, they lower themselves down so they don't go smashing into the waves down below. Um, Rook, uh, sees the shark and is going to attempt to shoot at said shark with that disadvantage. Oop. Um, and the shark just completely avoids it. It, it. it goes under the water a little bit and the air sinks. Uh, Lushu, you guys are uh, getting near uh, Tia's run as well. Um, you can see people are uh, boarding the lifeboats of Tia's run. You guys on your trade vessel or whatever also has uh, some lifeboats as well. Mm -hmm. Um, who is in a lifeboat and who isn't on Tears Run? Um, everyone is in the lifeboat except for Siggy. Yeah, uh, he he. Uh, on his turn, he's gonna try to get to one. Where's Where's Siggy? He is uh on the stairs. Ah, okay, okay. Um, how far away are we from uh, this other ship? You're about uh eighty to a hundred feet. 200 feet. Okay, then. Well, um, I guess I'm going to go as far as I can towards the ship. Um, but I'm going to go towards... Uh, I'm just going to drag it. Like, don't move the character, but this direction. I don't know if you can see me doing this. But this side... I want to pull up towards the side of the ship with the shark on. Um, you guys are too far to pull the ship. Up there, cause you're still like 100 feet away from the ship, right? Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, can I try to attack it with my short bow then? A shark? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, I did. Disadvantage. Is it disadvantage? Yep. Okay. Yeah, uh, you, uh, st you still hit. I got it. I did. And there's the damage. Max damage. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> why, is the, why is the shark known as the old man? Mm, you'll find out. Uh, oh lord! <laughs> um, another sheep. Just another sheep. Another fucking eyes. Uh, it's fucking like we're having seafood tonight, boys. <laughs> Not, shark Shark's si back on the menu, boys. <laughs> shark sushi. Um, is that your turn? That. I wouldn't recommend it. It's very gummy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna end my turn. My bad. Eva, you're up. Yeah. Oh, the thought of gummy seafood. Oh god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's really gross. Um, you have a thing in England called Jelly Deals. They're bang. Ew. Oh, God. I don't They're think really I good. They're really I'm good. not going to knock on anything really that good. other people like to eat, but oh, no, 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 I cannot. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I oh, never haggis. tried it. Oh. Alligator don't, is delicious. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't try <laughs> haggis. Don't. <laughs> 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 There's uh, only one thing that should be a, in a sheep's intestine, and it's like, you know, yeah, it's not meat. It's, it's inside, yeah. It yeah, shouldn't be allowed. It should be, it it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, not, uh, not, not for me. Um, I don't oh, know if there's anything I can really do at a distance. Do you have any, uh, 
ranged spells? Uh, do I? That's a great question. Nothing that wouldn't hit the ship. So I think, I don't, is this even ranged? Oh yeah, you, I think all your stuff, yeah, you're too far with all your stuff. Yeah. I think the farthest one you have is 60 feet. Yeah, so nothing that either wouldn't hit the ship or anything that's actually, like, I'm close enough to do. Yep. Uh, jeez. Do I just YOLO it and go for it? This seems so weird. Nat's on board. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Heck it. Let's, let's go for the crocodile. Okay. You know what? Alright, let me get a... Crocodile! Why the heck not? Boom. Mark yeah, off yeah. a wild shape for me here. Did that work? Evacock! We haven't done this <laughs> in so long, I don't actually know how to give yourself a crocodile. We'll see how this goes. Tables. I don't see. know if a crocodile is quite as fun to ride on as a bear, though. Gonna... Mm. gonna say that. <laughs> wild... Bloop, bloop. Um... I don't know how to give yourself a crocodile polymorph, do you? forget how this works. I mean, can... though, to be fair, bears can swim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can swim twice as fast as humans, according to Google, but I don't know if that's <clears throat> the, the way to go here. How do I give you crocodiles? Crocodiles can be terrifying. All right. Um, okay, so I don't know why the thing isn't working for you. I'm just going to drag a crocodile into the, the, the sheet, and uh, this is this is you. Crocodile, you are at 11 initiative. Oops. Uh. That. Croc. Hey! Ooh. All right, what kind of crocodile color do you want? Uh, <laughs> you can't use the color thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are my choices? Uh, dark green, yellow, blue, Light gray, dark gray, dark blue. Uh, That's about it. You gotta be that yellow, bro. You gotta be that yellow, bro. <laughs> yellow crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like the croc banana. Um, that's a banana croc, dude. Um, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, banana crocodile. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, dude, croc banana crocodile. Let's go. This is you when uh. <laughs> croc <-a -nana>, yes. <laughs> Um, uh, you're technically not even on the map yet, um, uh, because you're, you're still like a hundred feet away, but you, I, what do you do? You just jump off the boat and croc form and let's go, go yep. swimming. And I'm going to, all right, swim. It's going to be weird for swim. a second, but I'm going to, let's gonna see. Swim. <laughs> your, your swim is 30 feet. So it's about, uh, so you could swim 60 feet ahead of the boat. So you're about 40 feet away uh, from Tia's run at this point. Okay, cool. Um, no, I, it's, it's on my screen. It's red, so it's hostile, so I can't actually oh, move it. Oh, right. But Hold on. If you, there you go. There we go. I don't know if you're going right. to be able to move it because you're. Uh, let's. Oh, it's it's letting me. So oh, uh, okay. if I book it, you said how many feet? Um. Is it, so I, I essentially moved you already in my brain. The, oh, the okay, beat, cool, the, cool. I just put you so on yeah, the, the map mind. because Ixnay that, then. eventually yeah, you're going to get there. We'll, we'll get there eventually, but yeah, yep. fuck it. Nana crocodile, let's do it. <laughs> you know, every single time I see those banana boats on a holiday now, I'm just going to take them to <laughs> 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 banana croc. <laughs> um, the marrow uh, sees um, Lyra uh, treading water. And is gonna attempt to uh, grapple you. Actually, he's gonna try to pull you underwater. How do I do that? Attributes. There you go. Uh, grapple, Lyra. Wait a minute. It's on disadvantage. Here you go. Grapple. Boop. 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 You're, Ew. you're grappled. No. You're grappled by the marrow, and he's going to try to drag you down. Uh, Rin is going to... Uh, what is Rin going to do? 
Rin is uh, going to be trying to paddle his stinking little boat away, so they're they're, they're shifting. <laughs> paddle, 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 paddle. Uh, Siggy is going to stand up and jump onto the lifeboat, uh, and he's going to use uh, his action to also help uh, Rook, you know, shimmy down uh, the ship. Or we can make it more intense and say they already said, fuck it, we're out of here, and already shimmy, and he just leaps off the, the boat. Says, fuck it, and because he, he can swim. Yeah, that sounds cooler. We're doing that. He's going to roll a dex to see if he actually lands on the... No, he jumps right into the water. Splash! So now he's uh he's, he's floating. Um, The ship... Or, uh, the shark notices that there's some... Uh, What's it called? Lifeboats in the water, and he comes over and uh, attempts to capsize this lifeboat right here. And he attacks for... Eh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, he smashes the heck into your boat. Um, Demon, go ahead and roll a uh, dex check. Uh, same, same with Wafus and Rin. Oh, yeah. Rin finally rolls amazing. Ooh. Wafus gets knocked into the water. Uh, you managed to save Demon, but you are prone. Uh, you managed to keep yourself from going overboard. Uh, where are you? You are right here. Prone. Oop. Um, that is the shark's turn. Uh, the cook. Uh, he's... He can't do anything. He's a cook. He's hanging out on the boat. Uh, Demon, it's your turn. I'm assuming you stand up. I do indeed. Uh... Okay, you are Ooh. stood up. And then I guess, uh, I guess it has to be another fire bolt towards him. Um, I didn't realize this. Fire doesn't work underwater. <laughs> Damnation! <laughs> of course, it, of course it doesn't. Of course. Oh no, wait! I still got my oil, don't I? Unless I dropped it when I fell over. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't drop your oil. You okay, you, you, uh, you started your torch. Okay, so have I got a fire yet, or do I still? Am I still having a way at the fire? Um, the your uh, I mean your torch. Your torch is lit, so you could use it. Okay, well, um, I throw the oil and the, uh, fire towards the shark. Um, the fire will go out. Uh, oh, but... that's why I used the oil. Uh, sure. Which, uh... Yeah, <laughs> so you're, you're gonna try to... Oh, you're gonna actually throw your torch, too? Yep. Oh, damn it. It's okay, I can go shopping after this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh... Oh, God. Okay, so go ahead and roll a d20. I'll figure out what your... Okay, so it would be d20 plus 2. So roll a disadvantage, d20. Oh, so disadvantage. Oh, buddy. Uh, buddy. Um, yeah, you, you missed. You missed. <laughs> you, but yeah. you, chuck, you chuck your torch and... <laughs> Um, so now you are also torchless. <laughs> yeah, probably should have brought more oil. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but that's your turn? Yep, it was a valiant effort, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Corva, right, okay. you are, uh, approaching uh, Tia's run. Uh, you see that the lifeboats are being assaulted by, uh, the shark, uh, and Tia's run is beginning to sink. Um, okay, can, 
Let's see, what can I do? What can I do? I mean, theoretically, I could cast flames. Or produce flames at the shark. Uh, flames go out in water. Wouldn't do much. Yeah, flames go yeah. out in water. Unless he surfaces, I think we're screwed when it comes to fire. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna attempt to hit it with another arrow, and we'll we'll see how this works. Go for it. You hit oh, him. Wait. Just, oh, okay. A little bit of damage. Um, are we close enough that we could throw a rope to any of the the people that are treading water? Um, no. Oh, the, the people that are treading water are pretty much right next to the Tia's run. Uh, okay. Um, after hitting it, I go back to rowing the the lifeboat with the rest of them to try to hurry and save these people. Okie dokie. Um, the uh, Captain Elseris, uh, he's lowering his lifeboat into the water. Um, and uh, he moves very little. Um, on the boat, he sees the, uh, the chaos that is happening into the lifeboat. Uh, to over there, uh, that just knocked Wafus into the water. Uh, Lord Hasworth, um, never having, uh, used a boat before, um, attempts his best to row, uh, away from the boat, um, to get himself out of here. Uh, but he kind of ends up more going in circles with the rowboat, so he kind of just stays there. <laughs> Uh, Lyra, you are grappled and underwater. Um, so, uh, you, 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 if you open up your character sheet at the bottom, uh, there's a break grapple. You can attempt to break the grapple if you want. And uh, your constitution is high enough that you do not need to be rolling, breathing yet. You can hold. You can hold your breath. Ooh, nice roll. Okay, yeah, you managed to just break off his grapple. Um, you are like thirty feet below surface at this point. Um. Okay. I guess I'll s try to swim up for air then. Okay. Um. You will be, you'll be leaving his threat range, so you'll get attack of opportunity. Uh, but you can uh, obviously swim up. Or you can, yeah. How long can I hold my breath? You can hold your breath for... I think it's one minute per constitution modifier. So you can hold your breath for two minutes, and each round is ten seconds. So okay, okay. You, you can Perfect. hold your breath for like then 20 I rounds. Worry about it. Yeah. Um, okay, I will... Did that count as my action to break it or no? Yes. Actually, okay. does break grapple? Yes, it counts as an action. Yeah. Um, okay. Then I... Um... It might actually just take some of your movement. Yeah, escaping is uh, counts as an action. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a bonus action. Okay. And cast, uh, Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. Um, wherever it is. I don't know why I can't see it. Shield of Faith. Uh, it doesn't seem to be on your list. Let me get it. Shield of Faith. <laughs> Boop. Uh, I don't even know what level that is. Is it? Do you know what kind of uh, 
Oh, level one. Um, That's a level one spell. Yeah. Yeah, level one spell. Okay. Uh, shield of Faith goes down here. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. I'm going to cast that on myself. Why can't I see myself? Nice. Okay, and then that'll be my turn. Uh, give yourself... Hold on. Also give you the AC plus two. Nice. Cool. Um, let's see. Uh, it is Uafa's turn, and uh, she is going to attempt to uh, get up on board of the, the rowboat again. Um, actually... Rook is paddling the rowboat, so they are probably about 5, 10 here. Um, Lushu, you guys are uh, about Let within go. 40 feet. Okay, then. <clears throat> um, well, once all I can really do is defend hit him with the bow, really. Um, that's still disadvantage, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay, disadvantage. Well, I say awesome, but okay, going for the shark and oh, oh. Are you hit? hit? Hell yeah, dude. And damage. Get Not some bad. damage. Not bad. Okay, uh, let me more turn. Yeah, uh, Eva's crocodile. Um, you will be able to get within uh, the map if you use your full swim speed. Okay, uh, let's do that. So, so you'll be here. Switch. <laughs> Must go. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do at the moment. Yep. I guess. <laughs> you swim. Just gotta keep. Just keep <laughs> swimming. You know what they say. <laughs> um and that uh that marrow um attempts to uh he sees you you know give yourself some glowing light and uh he yeah uh, slashes at you um in an attempt to distract you um so he swings one he hit my god second swing is a critical miss okay um his first swing uh hits And yeah, you save your concentration, so you you keep your spell up. Um, in the the second the second swip, uh, he his per, per, er, his perfume his harpoon he drops, and he makes a <laughs> gurgle sound underwater because now he's mad. Um, Rin um, is aboard the ship and paddling. We already moved them. Uh, Siggy is oh yeah he jumped <laughs> he accidentally jumped overboard uh so he's gonna swim over and he aboards the boat itself um the shark seeing uh the the lifeboat ahead he comes over to attack it again or and completely splinters it so the the, the lifeboat that Demon, Wafus, and Rin are on has now completely turned into uh, floating lumber, and they're all treading water now. Uh, Giles is helping man the ship, so this should probably be moving. Uh, they're going to be moving this way. 15. There you go. These guys, these guys are doing things. Uh, Demon, roll a uh, strength check. Strength check. Do, 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 do. Pardon you. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it, uh, you, uh... Or, oh, sorry, not a strength check. Uh, what'd you roll? You rolled a... Oh, it's oh, a minus a one. Save. Uh, not that. Yeah, oh. it would be, it'd be athletics, but 
Um, we can. I'll let you re-roll it because I I said the wrong thing. May fate will be in my favor. Uh, you don't make it, um, but uh, you don't sink very far, but uh, your, your heavy robes and stuff are getting waterlogged, and they're making it difficult to swim, so you, you start sinking a little bit. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Um, inventory, what have I got? What have I got? Ah... Uh, uh, water skin. Oh gosh. Um, let's see. Pancake. There we go. Um, yeah, they'll come back. <laughs> uh, oh god, this is a hard one. Right, so I am right there. I am going to. Oh gosh quickest place I can get to. No, I'm going to have to think what I've got in my inventory. I'm going to get out... Well, actually, you know, I'm just going to... Get my rope. Okay. Um, and I'm going to lasso it around, uh, I guess, uh, both of the people near me, or at least the first person, so they can pass it on to the next. So at least we can all stay afloat together. Cool idea. I like it. So you just pass the rope over to him. Find the rope over. There we go. Sure. But that'll work. We'll say that uh, they, they, they uh, are able to grab onto it. Whew. Um, and uh, that will be the end of my turn for uh, this time. All right. All right. Horva. It's your turn. We're going to say uh, your little rowboat is now uh, showing up. Um, imagine that you're on a rowboat, and that's where you're at. Um, and you, you just saw this other rowboat, you know, not too far away from you, just explode into shrapnel uh, from this giant shark. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Demon says... You gotta be taking the piss. All the people to come. We're getting someone in a rowboat. <laughs> yeah, and the only thing I have is a short bow. I don't even know about the other people in the boat. Uh, they're probably just normal people. You know, they they probably have like cutlasses and scimitars or whatever. They, they weren't coming in here with weapons. They were coming in here to get people out of the water. Well, how the hell are they going to do that if they can't fight the shark at the same time? Well, they weren't trying to fight the shark. They're literally just grabbing people out, saying, let's go. <laughs> okay, so am I still at disadvantage because it's underwater? Yep. If it's a ranged attack and it's uh, under through water, it's a disadvantage. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, you miss. Damn it. All right. Top of the initiative order. Uh, roll a thing. Ooh. Um. The the shark being within range of the three people attempts to munch. On Uafis. Uh, wrong thing. Um, launch time. Where's? Oh wait. He would he would do that on his turn. What am I doing? Uh, Captain Elseris, he's gonna start paddling over here the best he can. Oh, I I forgot there was a there's a dude right there. Uh, he he attempts to uh, pull El Capitan underwater as well. Oops. Attack. Harpoon. And uh, rolls a two and completely misses. So it's fine. Um, 
Captain Matt sees the harpoon jut out of the water and is like, oh, snap! But uh, he continues to try to paddle on over to help those that are in need. Uh, Lord Hastworth uh, still struggling his best to try to paddle this rowboat. Lyra, it's your turn. A little hey, um, I you, you were swimming I... up, right? What? What What did you do last turn? Were you swimming? You shielded and then you started to swim because he got an attack of opportunity, right? No, I did not swim. Okay. Um, uh... Alright, I am going to Do I have to use an action to take out a weapon? No, uh because you didn't have okay. anything in your hands, so Okay. Um but I'm going to attempt to uh I stab him. Slash him. The marrow? Yeah. Go for it. Schmack away. Oof. Uh, I, you probably missed. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you missed. Cool. <laughs> oh, uh, what weapon did you use? Because it matters. Uh, my long sword. Uh, I think those are at disadvantage. I think it's only spears and harpoons and stuff that can be used underwater efficiently. Uh, with that knowledge, would would you change how you would have attacked, or uh, you would have done your turn? I I mean I all I can do is I guess swim or attack. Um, I feel like if I try to get on the bow, I'm just gonna get brought back down again. So, um... Yeah, I guess instead I'll just try to... I'll swim up to the surface and he can attack me. Um, he's actually not gonna attack you, uh, because he oh. dropped his harpoon. So, but so yeah, you, you can swim up to the surface. Um, well, so we, you were, I said you were like thirty feet, so you can s get up there. Roll a fifteen. Yeah. Um, so, you're you're swimming. Uh, he does not get an attack because he dropped his stinking weapon in his mat. Okay. Uh, and he's probably gonna go try to retrieve it. Um, is that your turn? Yep. Cool. Uh, Oafis is uh, treading water. Has to roll a strength. Or an athletics, which he's not trained in, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, he wow, barely passes. Uh, Office manages to stay afloat. Um, and <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna try to do. Uh, he actually is gonna try to swim over to that rope or that boat over there. There you go. Can't move very far. Uh, Rook is going to do the same. Uh, where's Rook? Oh, Rook's up here. Uh, they're paddling, so... Eh. Boat is sinking. Uh, Lushu, you guys are finally showing up. Fantastic. You're, you're, you're showing up. There you go. Imagine that you're on a boat. Sweet. <laughs> Alright then. Um, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna help out uh, El Capitan and uh, target Mera. This time. Okay. Um, are they underwater still? Yes. Okay then. So disadvantage. No worries. Um, disadvantage. The short bow and. I'll tell you what, you that hit plus him. seven is so good. Yeah. Yeah. You hit him. <laughs> okay. Alright then. So and uh, damage half. Not bad. I'll take it. A little bit of damage. A little bit. Uh, none. Eva's turn. Crocodile. Uh, how far can I swim? <laughs> Thirty feet. <laughs> All right. Go down the crook. <laughs> I know. This is going. Um. Let's see. I think the best bet is probably to start trying to help 
the poor people that are cornered by the shark, so I'm going to move that direction. Okay. Uh, and that's all I can do. <laughs> you can move 30 more if you want to dash your uh, movement. Uh, Yeah, heck it. Let's do that. Hello, sir? <laughs> your, 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 your large... <laughs> just to put it in perspective, your large <laughs> crocodile body, bigger than the average uh, humanoid, is dwarfed in size of this giant-ass shark. You can... He could probably fit you in his mouth. I like those odds. <laughs> I like those Not odds. Not really, but you know. <laughs> um, the marrow. Uh, oh yeah, I said he was swimming to go get a stinking harpoon. <laughs> uh, Rin. Um, wait a minute. How did, oh yeah, they're trading water. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Shark is gonna get an attack of opportunity. On this person. Uh, this. Mm. All right. He's gonna. Oh boy. Yeah, he's he's gonna make a launch. Oh my God! He hit with a roll of a seven. Um, and launches the crap out of Rin. And just doesn't launch the crap out of him. He literally just eats him whole. Um, well, nom nom nom. Just launch him. Yo. Um. And uh, since you know sharks have to keep moving, so uh, he he swim by attacks and um, nom 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 eats him. And uh, swims out over there. Um, nom 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 nom. Uh, that was it. Wait, you know, he can't do that because that was an attack of opportunity, so he just <laughs> ate him. Would he have been there? No. Alright, so he was there. He blew up the rowboat. The sh shark should have moved. So he would not have gotten an attack of opportunity. Okay, undo. Undo. He would not have gotten an attack of opportunity. My bad. Um, Because he's over there. So he's gonna, he's also gonna swim. Five, ten. There you go. <laughs> Ever so slightly. Uh, Siggy and crew are going to move their little rowboat the best they can, and they come up to see this carnage of another rowboat coming in and people floating in water. All hell's broken loose. Okay, now the old man. And he's gonna swim by and and now he's gonna try to eat him. Uh swim by you Yum. and natural critical hit, he's just eating. He's just he's eating. Alright. Uh Rin got nommed. He he'd been nommed nomified. Oh no. Yeah, he he I'm got eating devils. He got super eated. Because that's a crit and that's 46 damage. Helm just literally swallowed him whole. Um, how do I hide you? You shouldn't be here anymore. You're you're, you're gone, buddy. Sorry. Um, so he swam by and now he's over here. And he's swimming right next to Eva. All right, come at me, bro. Not really, but uh, you know. They already moved. Demons treading water. Uh, roll of strength. Or roll an athletics check. Uh, okay. Athletics check. Oh, stupid mouse. Ow. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, you, you managed to get yourself back up, and you're, you're treading water now, so you, you can swim. Uh, fine. Or you can move your swim speed. Okay. We're still, we're still kind of attached by this rope. Huh? This rope is around 50, 50 meters. I've got an idea. Uh huh. It might be a stupid idea, but it's an idea. 
the rope around the shark's fin so I could get closer to him for an attack. You're going to try to attack the shark that just one shot ate someone? Oh, good point. I was going to get <laughs> um, attach myself to the fin, so then... That might, might be difficult to do, by the way. Well. Trying to yeah. lasso a shark that's moving full speed through the water. Where's the nearest boaty boat? Um, Corva. Uh, the down okay. to the right a little bit. There's a there's a boat down there, so you can move three Fine. squares essentially. Okay, I'm gonna move. Di oh, I can't move diagonally. One, two, three. Okay. There you go. Nice. Boop. Um, and then, and uh, you can again. move. You can move three more if you want to, because you're not gonna get an action, right? Okay. So no, I'm gonna move over there. So there close. All right, Corva, your boat. You you see uh, this red-faced, horned yeah. being treading water swim into your boat. Okay. Uh, in the lifeboat, do we have those like, little like life yeah. movie things mm -hmm. that are attached to a rope? Uh, I don't know if they had those back then. Later. I don't think so. But you guys have ropes, you know, you can throw ropes at them. Yeah, it's half 12, Mads. Okay, I'm going to throw a rope at uh, the, the what appears to be a tiefling. Yep. To try to get them aboard faster. Sweet. You also have movement, so you can go, like, right up next to them. Oh, well, then I will just... You can be like, boop! You could get to here, and then, and then just, people can uh, crawl in. Okay, well, then you shall do that. Um, okay. You wanna. You could use your action I, I, to uh, pull someone in if you want. I'm, I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna pull the tiefling in. Cool. Tiefling hey. is. Demon is now aboard your life raft. Yeah. <laughs> this one's gonna get kept on the for Long. now. <laughs> for how long? Okay, and with that, I. That should be my turn, right? Because yep. I can't do anything else. Yeah, you use your action Thank to pull in the tiefling. Oh, the, uh, the other marrow uh, that was attacking the captain's ship, uh, now seeing, you know, 20 or 30 other ships coming in, uh, armed with various pirates and people, uh, takes it upon himself, intelligent creatures, that uh, it is time to probably disappear. Um, and... Uh, he uh, disappears under the waves. Uh, Captain Alceris is going to continue rowing his little mini boat. Uh, Lord Hasworth is... Uh, he's going to actually... Because uh, you, you broke water, right, Lyra? Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. going to actually try his best to uh, reach down and uh, pull you out. So roll this. He rolled a 12. Um, oh my gosh. He, yeah, he, he managed to grab on and not fall out of the boat. Um, and he uh, manages to uh, help you onto the rowboat. And uh, now it's your turn. You're, you're successfully on the rowboat. All right, we rowing away. <laughs> Just fuck it. We're getting out of here. Let me show you how to row. Um, okay. How far can I row? Um, you, you can row 30 feet. Let's go ahead and move a direction. There you go. That works for me. And then uh, he comes with. We. <laughs> um. Wafus is uh. He's gonna use his turn to get onto the, the rowboat. Uh, Rook. Them. They kind of bloop. Moving down this way. Um. Gushu, your boat has arrived okay. on scene. You are about okay, here. Then. Where am I? Where am I? Yeah, dude. Okay then. Um. All right, he's all right. He's vanished. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna attempt to shortbow the uh, shook again. Go for it. Um. Disadvantage and shortbow. Let's go. Natural Ooh. twenty. Nice. 
Oh, it got no dropped, way. but it got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I still got a, I got, I yeah. got a dirty 20, and yep. that's better than no 20, yep. I did. Uh, no you 20. hit. You hit. Okay, then. Let's get the damage. And Good damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. And that'll be me. Eva, your crocodile self. <sighs> All right. I don't have um, any of the, like, sheets or anything with the attacks, so I may have to have you help me with this one. All right. Can I do... I might be able to do this. Did that do anything for you? Aha, yes, actually, it did. Wonderful, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so I guess I've got a chomp, and that's pretty much all I've got. So yeah, he got a chomp. It's the fucking time to chomp this boy. Yeah, chomp it. And I don't think we're chomping nope. this boy. <laughs> uh, you, your, your crocodile jaws try to chomp onto him, but he got a big old shark body and just... Just oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, taking a foot long. Oh, yeah, yeah, this boy. <laughs> and uh, scrapes through. That's your turn. Okay. Yep. That is all I all can right. do. Uh, that marrow that was uh, attacking you also, having seen uh, everything show up, uh, disappears beneath the waves. Uh, Rin is super dead. <laughs> um, he's, he's being digested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he is. <laughs> he is. He is shark food indeed. Um, hold on, I got it. And uh, with all that happening, fade all this out. Um, the uh, the shark seems to uh, be uh, leaving the area, and as swift as the creature appeared, uh, it is gone. Uh, it's it's shadowy form slipping beneath the waves and disappearing away. You hope. Uh, your lifeboats uh, push towards the docks, propelled by those on the uh, on oars, uh, and you see other boats rushing out uh, to meet you guys as well. Um, uh, it's too late for Tia's run, however, and uh, you look back and watch as the top of her mast is slowly swallowed by the waves. And. It is 5.30 here. I know it's late for you UK folks. So It's half past 12. Yep. Yeah, half past 12. Yep. It's the next day for us. Yeah, and I, and I, you yeah have, it's tomorrow now. You have babies, so I figured now might be a good chance to uh, <gasps> stop, yes? Does that mean we're in the future and you're in the past and like some, some weird time travel like stuff going on here? Yep. Excellent. Yeah, yeah you're, you're in the day of tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, that whole session was that combat, guys. It was like mm -hmm. two hours of combat. That <sighs> shark sucks. Um, but yeah, oh my god. Uh, water combat is brutal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time I've run a, or even been a part of a, a water combat. That was bananas. It sucks. Uh, but yeah, you, you guys encountered a uh, giant motherfucking <laughs> shark. Um, couple of you probably got a very close look being next to him. Uh, he looks like there's a flesh and stuff starting to rot off his body. Um, but okay, that's, good. that's about is all uh, we'll get into today because we'll, we'll let you guys go. But uh, thank you guys so much for playing. Um, hopefully it wasn't too frustrating. Uh, we're learning stuff. I hope you guys are having fun. Um, good fun. Always fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it was an intriguing way to start. Yeah. Um, the, the party still haven't actually fully got together yet. Uh, hopefully uh, next week, uh, it, you know, we get to play and then uh, everyone can meet and greet and all that lovely stuff. And uh, we'll find out what the heck is happening with this giant shark and uh, what's going on in uh, the port town of Bastion Bay. Sound good? Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys have anything else to say? Oh, Odin's, Odin's just hanging out. We'll see you next week, my friends. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, <my>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My beautiful other friends on the interweb side of things, which I realized I don't think I've updated. I don't know what I'm streaming on right now. I realized I may not have been marked as D&D. Whoops, my bad. I forgot. Uh, we were struggling to get everything plugged in today uh, with the new characters and stuff, so that probably uh, got swept by the wayside. But, my friends, 
Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys uh, are enjoying it. I'm excited to see uh, what comes of this. Uh, that whew, that shark was nasty. Just gobbled that, up that dude whole. Didn't even have to try to eat him or like attack him. So much stinking damage. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, hope you guys are having fun. Um, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt them, shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, uh, I am Vasive. We are Quarantine. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. I don't know um, what my plans are today. I might... Actually, what I need to do is I need to uh, do some my dice stuff. Like, I got... This. These are all the dice and stuff that I have done. Like, ready to go. So I gotta put those all up on... <gasps> take pictures of them, put them up on Etsy and stuff. So that will probably be what I do today. So I probably won't stream again. Uh, tomorrow, the plan is we're going to be playing some more uh, Elden Ring. We'll be back at that. I'm excited to start up again. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.